So this year we're making a big announcement about the full portfolio of products available for CBRS, what we call OpenG LTE. And this is big for us because we were pioneers in this space, and this is the year that we've now introduced all of the concrete products, uh, a range of, of access points, and also the cloud-managed elements. Additionally, we just made an announcement about the Internet of Things platform, and for the first time, Ruckus is now bringing to market a complete solution that ties together the big data and analytics together with the world of sensors and things. And uh, not only do we have the, the platform on demo, but we also have the first uh, ecosystem partners also um, here in the booth to show, and you know, a lot of excitement around that. And finally, we're showing off our cloud-managed platform, which is uh, you know, really a, a key part not only of the way we're going to deliver Wi-Fi uh, switching in the future, but also LTE. So you can imagine, for us, this is a way to, to show off the fact that we have one single pane of glass, one console, to manage a variety of converged networks. Why should visitors stop by the Rucka stand? Well, first of all, this is where all the cool people are. So you know, if you want to you know, really have a good Mobile World Congress, you got to go check it out. Uh, I think the, the demos are very impressive. On the OpenG front, we're doing demonstrations around the use of LTE not only for fixed wireless access, but for, for private LTE and also the home use case. So basically we're showing off three different network topologies, all using OpenG technology, together with the assets from Ruckus and our parent company, Eris. So that by itself is worth a visit. The IoT demos are really impressive. We're showing off you know, real stuff that's working that people are actually willing to pay, pay for from a use case perspective. So I think that's also uh, absolutely worth it. And of course, if you're lucky enough to come by the Ruckus booth at Mobile World Congress, you will get to see the dogs. And uh, you know, a critical part of every year here in, uh, in Barcelona. So I think the, one of the I mean, obvious hot topics is 5G. And, um, and we have kind of our own view on, on 5G. We think there's still quite a lot uh, of hype around you know, the timeline to get to 5G. And let's face it, it's, uh, it really depends on very dense networks, this combination of different kinds of radios, including millimeter wave and, and a variety of LTE uh, bands. Uh, our view on this actually is that the time is ripe for the service provider community to embrace Wi-Fi very seriously as part of that 5G story, because we're able now, particularly with um, some of the things we've just been announcing together with Qualcomm and KDDI around new advanced features and performance enhancements for Wi-Fi, we're able now for the first time to, I think, show that Wi-Fi is a serious carrier grade service provider augmentation. So, I think uh, you know, in, that, in that spirit, we're also showing off the fact that OpenG is a big step in the right direction to innovate around the use of shared spectrum, which will surely be a, uh, an important stepping stone towards the 5G world. So I think in 2020, our, our vision is that people will be selling enterprise grade OpenG LTE networks along with Wi-Fi networks and Ethernet, just like they would sell anything today in the enterprise. And I think that's a big, big innovation. You know, today LTE is kind of this uh, this world that is really, you know, kind of restricted to a very few number of vendors, and there's really not a big market for something like enterprise class private LTE networks. Today, you really have to look at kind of the traditional infrastructure companies and mobile operators delivering that in a certain way. By 2020, our channel partners and salespeople will be out selling. LTE just like they sell Wi-Fi today, which has really been the goal of our investment all along.